are convinced uh, that we have to empower women to make a real difference in terms of development. And empowering women starts with uh, having their rights respected and the right to choose is an important one. Uh, we, uh, women, and, women and girls have to have this choice, have the opportunity to choose when to have their first baby, with who, and how many. So I think we, uh, it's a responsibility for us to help them um, have their rights respected. And it's also a matter of health, obviously, when they have uh, a first baby too young, it's dangerous for them. They don't stay in school very long, so it has a direct impact on health and on development. How much is Canada willing to put up into this fund? Well, as you know, uh, we will uh, announce the, the budget 2017 uh, in a, in a month or so, uh, so I'm waiting for this uh, to confirm. But uh, we will definitely uh, have bigger proportion. In terms of proportion, uh, it will be a more significant amount dedicated to sexual and, and reproductive health and rights. So there will be significantly more because of this new American policy to ensure that girls and women have access to abortion in developing countries. Actually, the decision was already made. Uh, further to the consultations we've been through, it was even in my mandate letter in the right beginning. So the decision was already made that it is very important and that we wanted to, to do more. What do you say to men and women who believe that abortion is wrong, that it is taking a life, and women ought not to have that right to, to make that choice? Actually, restricting access to safe abortion just don't, uh, doesn't reduce the number of abortions. It, uh, it is the contrary. It increased the number of unsafe abortions and it uh, put women at risk.